The next topic we're going to discuss is PDM data cards. PDM data cards allow for input of information about files and folders. This information, which is also known as metadata, can also be pulled directly from the file. So we're going to start by right-clicking on the Cards node in the Administration tool. Notice now that I have a couple different options. I can open the Card Editor, where I can create new cards or edit existing ones. I can just choose to create a new card. I can also export cards to be used in other vaults, and I can look at card history. And this would be where I would see any cards that have been created or who has edited them. We will select Open Card Editor, and now we can see all recently used cards. These cards are any kind of card, not just one in particular. At the top, we can see the different options we have. Currently, there are only two available. We can create a new card, or we can open a card. I'm going to open the Quick Start Data Card. What we see now is the Card Editor tool. In the middle, we can see our data card and everything on it. On the right-hand side, we can see parameters that we can link to our data cards. And on top, we can see the different options and controls that we have within our data card. Note that this is all drag and drop. I can move things around and arrange it to how I want. We're going to remove some of the images on the card and reorganize them to make space for vendor ID. I will delete these icons by control selecting them. Next, I will move this blue text over to the right. And last, I'm going to stretch out this frame control to give me a little more space. Now we can add our vendor. At the top, I'm going to select static text. Now generally, this is text that doesn't change, hence it's static. It can, however, be linked to special variables. I will draw my bots for the text underneath the project name. Don't worry, these are sizable, so it doesn't have to be perfect on the first try. I will go to the parameters on the right-hand side and change the bots to say vendor. We can use the alignment tools at the top to make sure that everything lines up correctly. We can control select multiple items and align them to the left. We will next add the text bots, which is called an edit box in PDM. Again, I will select the edit control from the toolbar, and I will draw under the project name box. Next, I will link the value to a variable in PDM. Every edit box must be linked to a variable, or you'll get an error. We have an entire video about variables in PDM, so if you want to learn more about them, you should go check that out. So we'll scroll all the way through this list of variables. And again, all these variables are stored in PDM. We'll go all the way down until we get to vendor. Now the edit bots is linked to the vendor variable and it will show up on any file that uses this data card. The final step is doing something that everyone can do a little more often and that is click save to save the changes. Finally, I will close the card editor and browse back to the card we just edited and I will open it just to confirm that the card looks how I want. 